Я спортсменеджер Ubisoft Артем Сергеев. Всем привет, ребята! Да, ну что ж, у нас э, совсем скоро посмотрим, мы все с вами совсем скоро посмотрим э, изменения, опе, какие нам занесут опера оперативников, э, новых оперативников, какие изменения занесут нам на э, новой карте канал э, в новом ролике, между прочим, да, который совсем скоро с вами, с вами увидим. И, собственно говоря, с комментариями, с комментариями Артема, между прочим, э, кстати, экспертами человек, который имеет из место... первых рук. Из первых рук. Да, да, совершенно верно, человек, Но который имеет к этому прямое отношение. Я думаю, стоит начать с ролика, который да. уже вы сможете посмотреть прямо сейчас. Operation Ember Rise is bringing that super hot fire to Rainbow Six Siege with two new operators and a newly reworked map. The defender bringing the heat is Goyo who can use his Vulcan shields to create strategic cover points, deny entry to the attacking team, and serve up the occasional operator flambe. The attacker rising to the challenge is Amaru. Her Gara hook can quickly zip her up to rooftops, exterior windows, open hatches, and skylights. We've got the details you need to know about the new operators, as well as a tour of the newly reworked canal map. First up is Goyo. This operator from Mexico's FES unit is a savvy tactician who can rapidly deploy his Vulcan shields to stymie incoming attackers. The Vulcan shield shares all the attributes of a deployable shield, including the new look and the new snap to doorways feature, but the Vulcan shield has a surprise. Anytime Goyo, his teammates, or even the attacking team sets off the incendiary core attached to the back of a Vulcan shield, there's a small explosion, followed by a prolonged, oh my god, it's all on fire effect that you definitely don't want to try running through. The explosion can be triggered by damaging the core directly or destroying the shield entirely. So Goyo doesn't necessarily have to stick around and be the one to set it off. In fact, this medium speed, medium armor operator can be quite deadly while either roaming with his Vector 45 ACP or hunkering down with the TCSG-12 shotgun. If things go bad, his shields are still a threat even after he's been killed, especially when paired with a Capkin trap. But the threat goes both ways. While Thatcher's EMP grenades and Twitch's drone can't disable the incendiary core and IQ can't detect it, The Vulcan shield is still a deployable shield at heart, meaning it can be destroyed and the explosion triggered by a frag grenade. Or Ash's breaching round. You could also use Zofia's impact grenade. Or Sledge's hammer. This is fine. On top of that, anyone with a clear line of sight to the incendiary core can set it off meaning a poorly placed Vulcan shield can work against the defending team. The goal with Goyo is to leverage the power of the Vulcan shield and deny entry to enemies at critical moments, or simply buy your team some time early on. When the attackers are pushing, or when the round is coming to an end, trigger your Vulcan shields to keep them away from the objective or cover your flank. A well-timed Vulcan explosion can be the difference between lighting up the scoreboard or going down in flames. While Goyo seeks to impede the movement of his enemies, the Peruvian attacker Amaru can get around the map like no operator before. This is her Gara hook, and it lets her zip to any repellable ledge or window to quickly position herself where defenders aren't expecting her to be. And once she's inside the building, the Gara hook lets her travel up through open hatches and skylights. That's a first for Rainbow Six Siege, and defenders will have to adjust their strategy accordingly or pay the price. When it comes to choosing your destination, the Gara hook makes it easy, clearly showing what it can or could grapple to. You can't grapple to something that's too far away or too far below your position, but you can use the hook for horizontal traversal, as long as you're entering a window. Once inside a building, you can't target anything but open hatches and skylights. While the hook will instantly break a wooden barricade on a window, a castle barricade will prevent you from even targeting it. And a closed hatch will need to be opened before you can ascend through it. 
Amaru's Supernova or ITA-12S shotguns will come in handy if defenders leave those hatches unreinforced. This makes Garahook entry a bit noisy, so team communication and good droning are all the more valuable. Amaru doesn't pull her gun up until landing from the grapple, so she's completely vulnerable to Capkin and Frost traps lying in wait, not to mention any defenders who may have heard her entry coming. Operators who can give her a quick buff, like Finca, or use their gadgets to distract defenders, like Ying or Dokebi, are strong pairings for Amaru. But with medium speed, medium armor, and a G8A1 LMG in her hands, Amaru is a well-rounded and very mobile force to be reckoned with. All this action has been taking place on the newly reworked canal map. The map is still split between two buildings, but an additional bridge has been added to increase building-to-building -building movement options. There are fewer windows around objective sites, and the rooftops have been reconfigured to make runouts more risky. And additional staircases and color coding throughout both buildings have been added for more rotation options and easier callouts. The reworked canal map will be free for all players when Operation Ember Rise launches. The two new operators, Goyo and Amaru, will be immediately available for Year 4 pass holders, and all other players can unlock them seven days later with Renown or R6 credits. For more on Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.